We can almost guarantee you'll never see this again, an all-black king penguin. Take a look, spotted recently on South Georgia Island near Antarctica. How rare is it? One biologist called it a one in a zillion mutation. This all-black feathered king penguin could be one in a zillion. The video was recorded on the sub-Antarctic island of South Georgia by National Geographic Traveler magazine contributing editor Andrew Evans on his bus to Antarctica expedition. While many king penguins and other penguins can have feather coloring mutations, usually the variations are partial. Dr. Alan Baker, an ornithologist and head of the Department of Natural History at the Royal Ontario Museum, called the discovery of the all-black king penguin astonishing. He jokingly said, it's a one in a zillion kind of mutation and scientifically calls it very rare. He explains that typically, melanistic birds will have white spots where melanin pigmentation has failed to color the feathers. But it's extremely rare for there to be melanin deposits over the entire breast of a bird. Photographer Evans says he almost didn't get the sighting recorded. As he got his camera positioned, the penguin started walking away. Have you heard the one about the penguin who lost his tuxedo? Not a joke. No. Not a joke at all. National Geographic Travel contributing editor Andrew Evans actually spotted this rare black penguin. There you see it on the right side of your screen. On the island of South Georgia near Antarctica. So how rare is this? Experts say this penguin's coloring is a one in a zillion kind of mutation. One in a zillion. I just love that it's one in a zillion. Is that really a number? Apparently. Lots of zeros there. Yep. Yes, the deficits a lot of zeros. All crammed together. I was just going to say it's the national debt. <laughs> so this is wild, but this is, so it is one in a zillion. Yeah, there are some scientists who say they thought they may have seen him perhaps a couple of years ago, but apparently he seems to be doing fine. The yeah. other penguins are being nice to him. Exactly. But what's interesting, I think, about that is, okay, the black and white tuxedo look of a penguin, there's actually a reason for it. It's natural camouflage for them in the wild because when they're in the water, okay, and they're on their belly swimming, a predator down below looks up and they sort of blend in with the sky, whereas when they're, on, when they're swimming and you have a predator above, they look down and the, the back is black, they blend in with the ocean. Jack Hanna. So I'm there. yeah, there right? you go. He does more than tell us when to change the clocks, people. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> that was fantastic. So is this to this guy then? It's actually probably even more impressive. To find the well. odds. So look, look. Lonnie, so Sweet tell me then, how does things. a genetic mutation like this happen? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lonnie, have you got a break yet? Yeah. That's a commercial. <laughs> Wikipedia only tells one so much. Okay. <laughs> so this so this Andrew Evans stumbles upon Mm -hmm. This black mm -hmm. penguin. Um, he's on a, a bus trip to Antarctica. I mean, can you believe it? I mean, on a, for a National Geographic channel, yeah. but on this huge. And see something like this. I wonder what a photo or the video, because he's got about 14 seconds of video. I wonder what it's worth. What it's, it's worth? Well, it's if it's one in a zillion, I mean, it's incredible stuff right. to be able to, to stumble upon something. And like we're this. getting sort of an here. exclusive right here. Yeah, the guy was taking public transportation. The whole idea is this story public transportation from here in the U.S. to Antarctica. Yeah. Amazing. And he finds this penguin. A melanistic penguin. Unreal. And uh, what was really kind of crazy about the discovery was more the, um, the media coverage of it, right? So for instance, the media said, a Reuters report said, the penguin seems to be assimilating nicely. And it, yeah, yeah, the media said it. And it even has a black and white mate. So this is, so the, ep the epigraph comes from the Reuters news report. Recently discovered all black penguin seems unafraid to defy convention. Biologists say the animal has lost control of its pigmentation. Other than that, the animal appears to be perfectly healthy. Look at the size of those legs, said one scientist. It's an absolute monster. <laughs> the all black penguin speaks. 17 facts you did not know about me. One. I was born here, raised here, met my mate and warmed my eggs here, too. Fully ten seasons passed before you noticed me. Don't make up theories now, Johnny come lately. <laughs> Three. Penguins are colorblind. Four. <laughs> Fuck your bell curve. <laughs> I know that's not a fact, it's an imperative. Five. <laughs> Penguins deliberately don't read, so we wouldn't have to learn words like assimilate, like discriminate, like mutate. Six. We pray every day. It's a simple chant. Evolve. 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 Seven. 
Can't you see it's getting warmer? Don't you see the ice melting? Eight. I know the word rhetorical, bitch. <laughs> the same size as all the other penguins, 10. You suffer from ocular negrophobia, the condition in which all black, all black things look really large and scary. Yes, I know that's a fact about you, motherfucker. 11. I hate you. 12. I don't believe in the same God as you. 13. Evolve, evolve, evolve. 14, there are two other all blacks. We do not know each other. <laughs> 15. 15, I'm prettier than you. 16, I'm making up a song about you. It's called Albino Motherfucker. 17, we have a few all white penguins here. We're cool. They hate you too. Isn't that a little, uh... Oh, 
it's a lot. 